Hi everyone, welcome to episode nine of Poll on the Call. I'm Mandy Neck. And I'm Chris Rivers. And today we're gonna to be talking about um, building self-confidence and sharing your poll journey. Yeah, so excited. So we, we've had a couple students and people online ask us about this and it's very, it's a good question because it's so important. Um, there's so many things to discuss. So I guess we'll start with the, huh, let me see. Should we start with the building your self-confidence or sharing your journey? I guess maybe sharing your journey because sometimes sharing your journey helps build your self-confidence in a way. Yeah, we can talk about like, let's say, I mean, from personal experience, I feel like my self-confidence definitely boosted once I started taking class. Yes. So before, um, maybe you don't feel as confident, mm -hmm. but you know, you just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing like going to a pole class, especially if it's your first time, or even if it's been a couple and you're just feeling like, I'm not getting it, I, I can't do it. And like looking at someone who A, is either newer than you or B, like completely different body type than you. And they're just killing it. It really does, even at me as an instructor, sometimes I'm like, damn, it can bring you down. Mm -hmm. um, and I want to say it's human nature because <laughs> we're just prone to thinking. It's our ego. Yeah, yeah it's definitely yeah. our ego. We're just prone to thinking that way. <laughs> so I'm hoping like some of these tips will help you like to kind of start thinking about it in a different direction. Mm -hmm. um, I know, for instance, I started telling my students before my class, you're here for your workout. You're here for your dance. Um, if you want to look at other people, by all means, enjoy. Be like, yes, I want that. But that's not the concern. Focus on your workout. For, focus on practicing and perfecting your craft. Yeah, it might not be as good as someone else, but that's just today. Um, and I think as all instructors, we should kind of remind students this. It's hard because we have so much on our mind, but sometimes we forget what it's like to be a student. <laughs> yes. Yeah, and I think the unique thing about dance in general is like like all artists who use like tools mm -hmm. and our tool is our body and we all have different tools. Yes. <laughs> so the comparisons, um, they, you know, sometimes that'll keep us from, from feeling confident in ourselves. Mm -hmm. But just remember that you have your own tool to work with Yes. And it's your responsibility to figure out how, how to, you know, get in tune with your body. <laughs> yeah. And I think also in doing that, you become more confident because you're like, oh, yes. like I have a bicep muscle. <laughs> <laughs> and I can feel it. Like it's yes. really there. It always, and it's strong. <laughs> facts. And always remember, just like she said, um, as you're getting used to your body, there's going to be things that you can do that that person that's killing it can't do. It's crazy how it is it's just pole it's just the pole journey mm -hmm. and also just because you can't do it that day doesn't mean you won't be able to do it next week or the week after it it's really it's really hard it sucks you never know sometimes you're killing it and then one day you just have an off day and that off day can really bring you down mm -hmm. um or it could be seasonal like me yes in the winter yes. i cannot pull dance yes <laughs> and i just accept it i uh, just do conditioning mostly and the accepting can be hard. I know this yeah. winter for me and for other pole dancers were hard, mm -hmm. especially going on social media and seeing other people. Um, you just, you do get wrapped in mm -hmm. yourself. So it's like, like you the, said, definitely seasonal. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but how can you fight that? Um, respecting your journey. Yes, respect <laughs> your journey. I know personally myself, I record everything. I take pictures of everything. And then sometimes when I'm in a rut, I look back at everything just to see how far I've come, like all my past performances, um, tricks that I have worked on, like rep repeated so many damn times, I'm so tired of them. And just, it's nice to have that recording just so you can see yourself. Because sometimes if you think about it, you don't see it, but if you actually have that proof and you're watching it, you can say, yeah, look at me compared a month ago compared to now. Mm -hmm. Um, so I definitely recommend that as one way. Record yourself and track your progress because mm -hmm. you'll be surprised with the improvements you see, even small things that we see as instructors, but you might not see as a, as a student. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I was going to say too, like sometimes the, the 
progress is really small. So, yes. so tracking it yes. by videotaping and taking pictures of, of your progress will really help you see it. Mm -hmm. and, and that is really empowering too. Yes. <laughs> Um, another way that helps me kind of build self-confidence is um, my appearance. And goodness, I hope this isn't like egotistical to say, but um, <laughs> you can love your body. There, yeah, there's there's truth. I learned. I watch a lot of queer as folk, and <laughs> I've learned that there's truth that when you like with what you're wearing and how you look at something, it completely changes your self-esteem. So sometimes, like. If I'm going into a class and I'm really not feeling it, I'll like look through my drawer and I'll find something sexy. Like today, I taught a class right before this, and I was like, I was kind of down because I was just slipping like hell. The students were fucking incredible <laughs> as always, but in my head, I'm like, as an instructor, it's for me embarrassing to slide down. So how do I fix that? Look at what I'm wearing. I'm feeling yes. gorgeous now. I feel a little better. I'm ready. Next, we're gonna yes. Look at these boots. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm just sitting here, yes. but I feel better. Exactly. <laughs> um, and now I'm ready to get ready to record these tutorials, which we're doing after this. Stay tuned for that. <laughs> but um, there is truth in how you look and what you wear can really help. Mm -hmm. So maybe putting on that sexy outfit to class is what will make you feel better. Yeah, I'm not getting my jasmine today, but I'm fucking <laughs> looking amazing not getting my jasmine. You, things like that. It's really weird, but it really does help in work. Um, um, any, do you want to add anything else? Or yeah, that, you know, about or the anything? confidence thing. There, a lot of times, you know, you say like, like we're saying now, the outward appearance helps you feel better on the inside, yes. but also like the opposite can happen too. Um, sometimes you don't, you're not feeling good on the outside and then you'll come in and, and work you know, on the inside of your body and you like strengthen and then afterward you feel better. Like yes. It just transforms you. So yes. um, they will, they work both opposite ways. Yes. I'm so <laughs> glad you said that um, because I've had countless students and I'm sure you have too that mm -hmm. say, thank you for this workout. I mm -hmm. really didn't want to do it and I didn't want to come in, but I'm glad I did because now I'm just tired. My stress is released. Yeah. And even though they didn't kill their goals, they came and felt accomplished because they came for that hour, tried their best, and they worked out. And they, yes. And they made their go. Yeah, yeah. I always say when students come in and they're, even myself too, when that happens and you're like, oh, I had an yes. off day. Yes. You always have to congratulate yourself for showing up for yourself because you Thanks. did the thing. Um, you still trained your body, even though it was, you know, not what you expected. Facts. Um, and then the next time you come in, you'll be, you know, more stronger. Your your body will remember what you did. Yeah. And hopefully it'll all work out next time. Yes. <laughs> With that being said, like Mandy always says, it is a journey. So if the next time you come in and it doesn't work, it could just be the day. Yes. <laughs> um, it could be the weather. Um, there can be so many things. Yes. Ah. I think it's so important to enforce yeah. that, especially with students, because sometimes they're like, they get so discouraged when they're like, what the hell? I got this the other day. Why can't I do it today? Yeah. And it really, I know me as a pole dancer, it really took a lot to say, it's just sometimes the fucking day. It's yeah. not you at all. It's the weather, it's the pole, it's your body. Maybe your period's coming and you yeah. don't know it. Maybe you're angry and you just don't know it. It could be really anything. Mm. So if you don't kill it when you come in, that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, everything can affect it. It's, re it's really sad. Just be patient. <laughs> yeah, be patient with your own body. And, you know, be really mindful too. Just, you know, listen. Definitely. This, this uh, tool that we have to, to dance with. <laughs> yes. And another way to help build your self-confidence is to start pulling with your friends. Yeah. Um, and your family. Friends With encouraging family. friends. Yes. You know, Not so toxic true. friends. I'm glad you said that. So <laughs> true. Um, people who are encouraging, because sometimes I have friends that you go, you get a workout, and you're just like, I don't even know why I brought you. <laughs> like, because I did not enjoy this workout at all. So like she said, make sure you bring encouraging friends, um, because that is a great self-esteem booster. Just people who love you and who care, they're doing the same thing and supporting you and you're all supporting each other. I know I feel amazing and it helps others too. Right. That's another thing about the, like we talk all the time about the pole community supporting, but I, 
I definitely had my self self confidence boosted because of the pole community yes. and the support that I received from just like everyone liking how I move. Facts. <laughs> um, and I know personally as instructor, and maybe all you other instructors, and I know definitely you feel it. There's nothing like when a student starts and they keep coming and they progressively get shorter with the shorts. Yes. <laughs> get shorter with the shorts. And we're like talking yes. like, yeah, you see like them open more. And, and there's, and yeah. they can, and they notice that they're actually getting the trick mm -hmm. and lifting their feet off the ground. It's such a beautiful thing when you actually get to see it. Um, yeah, I think um, like my, what I always say about my personal story was I didn't, I was very timid and shy and, and like kind of a weak person. Um, and then I started pull and, and, you know, I didn't really think that it would change me or anything, but it started getting stronger. And as I felt my body being stronger, um, it helped me feel stronger as a person. Yes. And um, so now I'm really thankful for that transformation. Yes. And I think that a lot of people have a similar story. So Agreed. Um, anything else? Another way? I do have another way to build self-confidence. <laughs> Definitely document your journey. Um, do you want to go into that more? Um, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, ways you can safely document your journey, because unfortunately, people are still s silly when you bring up the fact that you are a pole dancer. So like, the ways you document your journey could be more personal, not mm -hmm. out in the public. But um, ways that I like to document my journey are on Instagram. Uh, and you can set your, your profile to private or have it public. Um, and it's great because you can connect with other pollers and like share with everyone. Um, and that helps to, of course, you know, share your journey because it'll be a log. And then also you can um, uh, communicate with others mm -hmm. and learn and grow from everyone. Yes. Um, with that being said, I love sharing my, well, <laughs> it's a love-hate relationship actually. And I'm also big on Instagram. I just started TikTok, which is a whole different ball game. I hate it, but I'm learning. <laughs> Um, but Instagram is definitely where I built a lot of my um, HIV and pole following, and they're very mostly welcoming. But sometimes, because of your job and because of your family, you just are like, nope, Instagram's not happening, or Facebook's not happening, or Twitter's not happening. How do you get around that? Some ways I've seen and learned are um, people still want to pull. St people still want to share their journey and you have every right to it sucks that you have to hide it but if you do have to hide it you can like she said put your profile on private mm -hmm. you can create a whole separate profile that none of your family friends know about it's like your hidden secret yeah with a fun name yes. it can be like a whole alter ego yes okay. we all love <laughs> love having our own little hidden secrets yeah <laughs> <laughs> but um i know some people who even when they post on their profile or if they have that hidden profile just to still be safe they'll like do some they'll do stuff with like a costume on mm. a mask or now with video editing you can edit out, yeah, your, just face, out your face or yeah. a whole dark silhouette scene mm. um there's so many different ways for you to actively share without people finding you um i'm not saying go out and do it because this is a personal choice mm. but there are ways to do it privately and still get the support you Maybe want. Maybe in your, um, like we have a, a Facebook group at our studio. You can have like a WhatsApp private group mm -hmm. at your studio, just so you can have, still have that community uh, and sharing and documenting without it being out in the, in the open. Definitely. I think it is important to, for sure to like, at least videotape for yourself. Facts. <laughs> uh, I know it sucks because I really wish we could all share our journeys because mm. I personally love watching them and I know other people love watching them. But... Yeah. And also the more we do, the more we normalize it. Yes. Yeah. And the more we show our authentic selves, yes. we'll help others do that too. And destigmatize it. Yeah. But it does take a lot of, you know, sometimes people just can't yes. with whatever job they have. So. Stop getting those TikTok bans because I'm tired of getting banned from TikTok. <laughs> right, Y'all like, heard it. And we're all, all shadow banned on Instagram at this moment. Like all of us. I think my shadow ban lifted. <laughs> <laughs> I do think it lifted. <laughs> For like one moment. <laughs> Um, I've got I've gotten better. It's yeah. it's a really a fine line because you want to produce you want to put out something that you created, and not only do you have to worry about like your family or friends seeing it if you don't want them to see it. Now you have to worry about shadow ban, but that's a whole different episode. We're not going to get into. 
<laughs> uh, but other ways, like Mandy said, um, if you're post studio or if you have po friends, mm -hmm. add them to like a WhatsApp group or a Facebook group or even like an Instagram messenger group. Yeah, yeah. Um, I know you can do that and share it with them because they could be highly supportive because mm -hmm. um, you have every right to share it. This is your journey and people want to see your story. People need to see your story. Mm -hmm. Um, and like how awesome it would be like we look back when we're old and be like, yeah, remember when we pulled it? Yes. <laughs> remember when we did that crazy jade yes. split into the Aisha? I love it. <laughs> so there's many, so many different ways to do it. Like wear a mask, wear a costume mm -hmm. or video edit your face out, do a black silhouette or don't record your face at all. Just do the body um, motion, um, create a whole new account. Um, I do think everybody should share. Mm -hmm. It can help build self confidence, but also be careful because if you go on that Instagram binge, it can also deter you mm -hmm. when you see other people posting amazing shit and you're just like, well, why the fuck can't I do that? I've been yeah. trying. So it's kind of like, how do you say, what's that term about? A double edged sword. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that brings us back to the, you know, the confidence of, um, you know, when you have your stuff online. But don't don't compare yourself to others. Mm -hmm. um, but also like be inspired by others and, yes. and be happy for others. Yes. Um, there was something else that I was going to say. <laughs> you can continue. Okay. <laughs> there's, come back. there's something else I wanted to say before she remembers her, <laughs> you can her come back to tidbit. Me. Um, when you're building your self-confidence, I found what helps me, and I know this might sound cliche, is affirmations. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if Mandy here, I know Paulina's heard yes. it, I know my pole dance life coach, Jamie, has heard it. <laughs> I repeatedly tell myself, I could do it, I could mm -hmm. do it. And they're probably like thinking, it, like, what is wrong with him? But it really does help. And even if I can't do it, I say, I can't do it today, but I know I will do it. Um, and for me, it helps this, it, this might be different words for you, but those little affirmations when you start your day or even when you're doing the whole damn hour class, yes. they really do help. If you're talking to yourself, that's okay. Some of the best conversations I have are with myself, but build your own self-confidence. Sometimes other people just suck and they're not going to do it for you. So build your damn self. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, right? Like if you, you know, if you don't have a good support group, like hopefully you do, but if you do not, and you take your videos, you know, to watch them and be like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like at yourself, clap for yourself. Like, cause you know, anybody that comes into this studio or, or any pole studio is awesome or anywhere that there is yes. a pole. <laughs> Just, awesome. Like, even if you come for one or two days, mm -hmm. you're like beating like everybody else who's never had the courage to even try it because yeah. of the stigma because of it being so stigmatized yeah, or whatnot. Yeah. So you're already ahead of the game, just like coming out to a pole class. Yeah. Yeah, and a lot of times too, we'll have to re remind students and ourselves that, you know, we're dancers, mm -hmm. we are athletes, we, you know, we're, we're trainers, you know, training for a goal. We, we work really, really hard yes. and we have to give ourselves a lot of credit. Yes. <laughs> um, another way to help build self-confidence and to even share your journey is start journaling it, start mm -hmm. writing it all down. Like for instance, I write all my, I have all my class lessons and all my competition pieces and storybooks <laughs> fucking written down. <laughs> and it's cool to like kind of sometimes go back to it and see what I've done, what I've experienced, what I still have to work on. And it's a beautiful way to keep track of it. Like, okay, I got this, I'm done with this. Let's go on to something else. I can work on this. And then that goes back with the recording. If you record, you can really look and say, ah, it's my knee hook I'm getting wrong, or ah, it's my underarm that needs to be here. Mm -hmm. You really have that proof to kind of Yeah, dive really. in. I thought I had a nice line, <laughs> but I did not. <laughs> yes, that was an awful point to tell. <laughs> that happened um, so many times. Yeah, I, like combos that you come up with. Yes. Like, I'll always record my combos and I'll put them you know, on my YouTube channel. So, and I'll yes. revisit them years later and be like, wow, let me do it again. Yes. And then you come back, I mean, you, you have the same body, but it's a different body when you come back to the combo. Mm -hmm. So you can really see how much you've grown and progressed. Um, I find for me, sometimes the most awesome videos I've ever made are like the fuck ups. <laughs> That's what I wanted to talk about, like the fails. Yes. And being, you know, afraid of being, 
being perfect mm -hmm. all the time, all the time. You don't have to be perfect. Yeah. Like no one is perfect. Fact. Even your idea of perfect is not perfect because you don't see what's going on behind the scenes. So yeah, and don't let the, the perfect Instagram combos that you yes. see um, deter you from your own progress. And I guess yeah. that's our thought as dancers. So I'm putting it out there, I'm pulling the call. Let's start posting more of our fails. Because <laughs> uh, it's real. Yeah. Especially for people who don't do pole. They can start appreciating yes. it more. They and just people, think we're awesome. People love the fails. Because <laughs> um, I know sometimes I want to see a fail. Like I follow mm -hmm. a lot of pole dancers and I'm like, I love your beautiful work, but sometimes I want to know that you're like me, like you mm -hmm. mess up. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So shout out to pole LOLs. Yeah. So all of us, <laughs> if you're listening, start putting those pole fails yeah. because we're all human. People I mean, want to see them. Don't do it on purpose though. Like that's not uh, cool. Yeah. Now like, um, what is the, the um, dumbass? <laughs> I'm going to try to get on ridiculousness. So. <laughs> I don't want to be like that. Yes. I mean, you know, if that's in your heart and that's what you want to do. Accidental <laughs> recording. It's not like I'm a fuck up on purpose just so I can get post. <laughs> Actually, I joked about that because I did submit one to poll LOLs <laughs> and um, they were like, oh, this one's too cute. We were looking for more uglier flags. And I was like, oh, I'll try better next time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you could submit stuff. I'm yeah. Oh my something. god. There, I always. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm about to start. We might have to make an episode on that. <laughs> Just start her full fails. Uh, so, yeah. So, some of the happiest moments are those recordings of fails when you're like, oh my god, I didn't mean to do that, but mm -hmm. it actually kind of came out nice. Yes. There's a few on my um, my phone right now where I <laughs> fucked up my choreo <laughs> and it ended up being cool. Yeah, I love <laughs> so that. I'm glad I have it on video because there's no way you could recreate that fuck up. Fact, fact. <laughs> oh goodness, this is such a tough topic. I I know. Is there yeah, sharing. Else? And another thing about sharing is like um, if afraid of sharing because you don't want people to like steal your content, which is a real thing. Mm -hmm um but you know always if you are sharing you have to understand that um there's always going to be someone who's <laughs> could possibly just take all of your stuff and like put up a fake profile um yeah so just be mindful of that you know um just things to think about that is a very good point and also don't assume someone stole your cards <laughs> Yeah, that's another thing too. Like bodies are capable of doing all movements. There's so many tricks and combos. Yeah. Um, I know I found myself like, hey, I just did that the other day. Don't it, you got to just get that out of your yeah, head. It's yeah, not yeah. like that. It really is. Yeah, it's, it's literally always just going to be a coincidence. Like our, all of our bodies can do all of the, you know, Facts. the things and you can end up with any combination. It's so hard with all that copyright big crap. It really is. Yeah, yeah. Um, another thing, let me see, with sharing, um, maybe you can't share with your friends or family, but how do we fix this for the future? We all have to start making an everyday conversation. Yeah. And this is something I preach with my HIV community and it needs to be preached with the pole dancing community too. Um, especially here in America, particularly, because the UK, uh, Asia, and Russia, and all of them, they're really accepting. Yeah, that. they are. Pretty, yeah, they, they start as children. <laughs> yes. Here, <laughs> here, this is what happens. If you're in America, what do you, uh, fuck, this is hard because most of you are dancers, but what do you think when you hear pole dance? You automatically get a stripper in your head. I got a stripper, my stripping days. And that's just because of society and what we see on TV. So the, how do we fight that? We talk about it. We make it mainstream. We mm -hmm. say, hey, this is what I do. Look at this coolness. Or, hey, look at this amazing person and what they're doing. They're not stripping. Mm -hmm. They're doing an incredible dance or workout. Um, and stripping is still valid, too. Like We need yes, to also change yes, the yes. stigma about that because... It's so ridiculous. Yes, I'm so glad you said <laughs> so that. So ridiculous. Nothing against strippers at all. Yeah. I started stripping. Um, mm -hmm. But that's why we should talk about it. The stripping and the pole dancing. Yeah, because um, th people don't know that, like, your friend is a stripper. You know, like, yes. once you reveal that, I mean, honestly, like, they might think differently of you, but they might not. 
you yes. might educate them and then, you know, they'll change their mind view. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, that's how we change the world. <laughs> and I guarantee you the majority of those strippers are paying for school mm -hmm. or paying to save for a house or something. They're not yeah. just like, it's a job. Yeah, it's a job. Yeah. <laughs> and they're making lots of money mm -hmm. being braver than most people out there. Yeah. Um, so talk about it. Talk about it. I know don't go out right and say, hey, mom, I'm a pole dancer because they might be like, what the f but you know, there are ways like, hey, what do you think of this cool trick this yes. person did? You tactical. And then they'll be like, oh yeah, that's cool. And then you leave it alone, maybe another day. What do you think about this? Oh yeah, that's cool. Kind of bring it in slowly. Yeah, I definitely heard students uh, having both happy and sad stories about when they revealed to their families about what they're doing. But and. You know, it may maybe not be your entire family that would be upset. Maybe like Facts. your aunt thinks it's pretty cool. And then, you know, you have that connection with your aunt and, you know. Yes. Yeah. I, with that, I will also beg you, if your family does find out and they try to stop you, I know I'm not there to help or don't stop. Um, Especially it, if it's in your heart. Yes. Yeah, yeah. It is your life. I know it's your family and you, we all want to please our family, mm -hmm. but pole dancing is a stress relief. It helps with depression, anxiety. It helps keep you in shape. It helps with your health. It helps build your confidence. Yes. <laughs> and if you love it, why are you going to stop? Mm -hmm. Maybe compromise. Maybe I know like with my mom, I don't post a lot of my post stuff on Facebook because we have all our religious family up on there. Personally, I don't care, but she asked me, can you kind of tone it down? And if you do, don't put my name on it. Um, so I respect that. And that's okay because most of my following is on Instagram. Anyway, so maybe sometimes a compromise, but don't fucking stop. Yeah, and maybe once your family sees how, you know, your confidence is mm -hmm. changed and you are glowing because <laughs> yes. you're doing, doing what you love, they'll hopefully come around, you know, because they'll see like this thing really had a, an impact on your life and they should respect yes. it as you do. Start competing because then they'll really know you're serious. Like, <laughs> you'll be like, I'm not a medal. What? You're about to compete? Uh, most <laughs> people will hopefully be supportive. We're like, what? You're in a competition? Yeah, I'll support you. But if not... That just might not be people you want to surround yourself at this time. Mm -hmm. Just please don't stop. Don't yeah, stop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Your pole family is here. <laughs> facts. Um, here, there, everywhere. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, is there anything else you want to add or touch on? Yeah, I, I guess that in that aspect, yeah, just know that as, you know, pole dancers, we are um, I mean, not in charge of educating, but when we have the opportunity and we feel comfortable to do so, we should educate others. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, just to get rid of the stigma all around. Definitely. Because it's fun. It is. It's and awesome. It, it's a great workout. It improves, it includes cardio flexibility mm -hmm. and strength. You don't even have to go to a gym. Yeah, <laughs> and, and also like grace. Mm -hmm. Like balance. Yeah, <laughs> like there's so many, so many things, yeah. Um, Body awareness. Goodness, I know we just like spilled a bunch out at you about <laughs> sharing and building self confidence. It's hard. Self confidence is a sticky topic. Yeah, and it could, you know, it takes you know your pole journey is years. You yes. know, if you allow it to be, and you're patient with your body. So, like, if you, you know, when I first came into pole class, I had the long shorts on. Um, I, you know, I had a tank top on. I didn't really want to show my my midsection. Yes. But over time, I realized that my, um, you know, I'm using my body for these awesome things, and it doesn't matter what I'm looking like, um, because I, my body does these really cool things. So, <laughs> so then I, you know, you know, you're surrounded by people who are also, you know, really, um, you know, welcoming of, of how our bodies are moving in this space. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's just, it is. It'll change. It changed me. Yes, it <laughs> I don't want to say that it'll change everyone, but like if you allow it, I guess um, it could change you. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> um, goodness, I don't even know what to add. We mm -hmm. just threw a lot at you. <laughs> if there's anything else you think would help mm -hmm. um, with people in building self confidence or that might help you, definitely feel free to share it with us so we can maybe share it online or touch up on it in a future episode. 
Um, yeah, and even if you have, like, um, we have our Monday motivation. Yes. Um, quotes and pictures if you want yes. to send us in a picture of yourself. Um, and even if you wanted to yes. send us a quote that you would like, we can post it. And, you know, that'll build everyone's self-confidence yes. and seeing how we awesome are, you are. We definitely want to start sharing <laughs> all of you beautiful people. So please send us those pics and those quotes um if you don't send us a quote that's okay you can send it to our instagram which will be in the comments or also our email address which will also be in the comments yes. and um, also if you don't have a poll community you don't have any poll friends yes send us your videos send us your pictures and you know we'll we'll be your little poll family we can yeah we can track your progress we love you. to see your progress yeah. it might uh, we might not answer right away <laughs> but we'll get we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll watch it um i actually just had someone start <laughs> hitting me up sending videos. I was like, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> and they send them to me and I'm like, I can't watch them right now, but I, I'm gonna watch them. Um, yes. And it's pretty cool. I, li I do like seeing the progress. Yeah, I'll always, I always love watching people dance. So. Yes, same here. <laughs> <laughs> and it's so cool. It's, it's nice to meet other people and they're just sending me videos. And I'm like, yeah, yeah. I don't know you, but I love this. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah, and our community will get bigger and bigger, but also smaller and smaller because we'll all be yes. the same goal. And this episode, yeah, so if you haven't seen it already, check out our interactive posters. Yes. The link will be in the bottom. <laughs> this, uh, we're recording this in advance, so we're actually recording those <laughs> tutorials now. Right now. <laughs> so by the time this comes out, it'll be out for purchase finally. <laughs> so you can find those interactive posters down in the link below. Pretty much what those are is a cool poster. It's gonna be awesome. With poll tricks. Um, and you can scan the QR code next yes. to each trick and uh, it'll pull up a video tutorial. Of yeah, the trick. so you get the picture, the name, and a little video too. And an inter interactive poster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the link to that will be at the bottom. We are so proud of that. Um, and it'll be separated in different levels too. So yes, facts. Beginner, definitely different intermediate, levels. advanced. And you can also check out our ebook, which has finally been out, which is finally <laughs> out too. So proud of that. It, we also decided to make that interactive, so it will include more than the individual posters. Pretty much all the content of the posters in one ebook. Uh, actually, no, the ebooks will have more. But it's a video. <laughs> the ebook has the description of the trick written and it has the QR code to bring you to the video. So check out that. So below. awesome. Yes. <laughs> so okay. I think that's it for this episode. Um, sharing your pole journey and building self confidence. Yeah, remember there's no one that is like you. You are unique. You are awesome. Yes. We have our own tool to work with. Yes. And that's why everyone loves to watch you because only you can move like you. Yes, and someone else needs your story. So have fun, mm -hmm. don't stop polling, and just be you. Yes. Yes, <laughs> I guess we'll sign out. So I'm Chris yeah. Rivers. And I'm Mandy Mack. And we are signing out. Oh, we got stuck! Too funny. Of course. <laughs> My legs didn't want to lift after last class. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> and I think you stopped.